Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can work with HTML and CSS. We are going to create this website. One particular thing of this website is totally responsive. If you display this website in different devices, the website is gonna adapt to the size of that device. You see here on the bottom part, those pictures, okay? You have different layout, for example, for phones, okay? If you see the menu is different, Okay, and I'm gonna show you all the steps of how you can create this website. All right, let's start. First, here I'm going to Adobe Illustrator, and here you can see the different views that I create. Okay, here is the phone view, a smartphone, here for devices like an iPad, okay, and this is for desktop, okay. But when I start this project, first I start with this layout, okay. The idea it was to create, okay, different layout and to see how much. Um, space I need for every single element, okay? For example, here I decide to put these four pictures here on the top, okay? And then the picture like this. For example, if you decide to put, let's say, three of these picture, okay? You have to keep in mind if you, if you do this responsive, instead to put three like this, okay? Probably it's much better if you put one, two, and then the last one here on the lowest part, okay? But it's, you have to decide Okay, when you put three or four picture, it's much better to put in different ways. All right, okay, to design this, okay, I use a few Adobe stock images. Okay, you can see if I select this image, I can go here to my library, and this is all the image that I create. Okay, and the only thing that I pulled from internet, we, it was the Harley Davidson logo, okay? And one particular thing that I did on the Harley Davidson logo, I copy with my eyedropper, okay? I select this color, because this is the color that I would like to work with, and I save on my library panel. And also I put this color, okay, which is comes from the Harley, okay, for this defense. I use that color to apply to the menu and other part of the website, okay? All right, uh, but to create this project first, okay, I have to, create a folder on my desktop, okay? And I'm gonna show you the folder that I have. This is the Harley Davidson folder. If I open this folder here, I have the CSS, I have the design, okay? And the images and the index, okay? I create just one page to keep this pretty simple, okay? I'm gonna show you what I did in Dreamweaver. If I open Dreamweaver, this is the whole page in Dreamweaver, okay? And here you can see the code, the HTML code, which is not big, Okay, it's not a big page, it's pretty simple code. And then this is the CSS. I didn't apply a lot of things, okay? I tried to keep something pretty simple, okay? And I'm gonna show you all the steps of how you can do this, okay? All right, let's start with the process, okay? First, you have to create a folder in desktop, okay? I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call Harley Davidson 2, okay? All right, and the only thing that I'm gonna copy from this folder is going to be my the images folder that I have here, okay? I'm gonna copy this, I'm gonna close, I'm gonna open this one, and I'm gonna paste, and I can work with the same images, okay? All right, then what I have to do, I'm gonna go to Dreamweaver, okay? I'm gonna close this, what I have, okay? And then I'm gonna open as a reference, and here in Dreamweaver, let's go to the site and select new site, okay? And here I'm gonna call this one Harley 2, okay? And I'm gonna point to that folder that is in my desktop, this one, the Harley Davidson 2. I'm gonna select twos, okay? And select save. All right, everything okay? And here I have the images folder, all right? I have all the elements. And now what you have to do, let's create a new document, okay? Here on the new document dialog box, double check you have new document selected, HTML and none, okay? I'm not planning to create a framework as a bootstrap, okay? Um, just select here, create. All right, this is the page I'm gonna divide here. Double check you have split, you have live, okay? And you have the files panel here on the right, okay? 
All right, this is the code. Okay, I have the declaration of the document is HTML. Here I have all my HTML, the wrapper, all right? I have the head and here the body. We are, we're gonna type code and also we're gonna use different panels to insert pictures, okay? Or to insert um, divs and also we're going to use the CSS designer panel, okay? What is the first step? First, I like to work with Adobe Illustrator, okay? On this document, okay? This document is in the description. You can download this document. Here in this part, I divide the elements, okay? Like this. Oh, by the way, it's very important. You have to start the design in HTML, okay? Thinking on the phone view, okay? That is the standard because the phone, everything is, you can see you have one, two, three, four, five. You don't have to start trying to align all the elements, trying to lay out. You put just all the element, one, another one. It's not here, because here I have four pictures, but it's easier to start with the phone, and then you start designing variation if you stretch the website, okay? Do not try to start from the desktop and then trying to change the website, how it's gonna look very well on the phone. That is not the idea. It's much better if you start first with the phone view. Okay, and here I divide, okay, the phone. First, I have a page wrapper. This is the wrapper of everything. I have to create that page wrapper. And then I divide of different elements, for example, the header with this class, the main content and the footer. And on the top header, okay, I have the banner, the navigation bar, and here on the main content, I have one section, two articles, okay? And the footer, I have just a 3MP, okay, as a text, okay? And here I divide all these elements, okay, and that you can see what is the name of every single element, okay? Let's go to the code. I'm gonna go to Dreamweaver, okay? And here I'm gonna show the reference that I have, okay? I'm gonna go again to the, the other index, okay? And here I have the, the design, okay? I'm gonna show you all these parts, okay? Here I have the the head, inside the head. I have a few things that you don't have to be worried about this because automatically you're gonna insert this code while you are working with Dreamweaver, okay? Let's take a look to the body, okay? On the body, the first part that I have here is the page wrapper, okay? The page wrapper starts here and finish all the way down here on this div, okay? If I close the page wrapper, you can see is the only element inside the body is the first one, okay? In that case, what we have to do, okay? We have to insert a div as a page wrapper. But before we do that, it's very safe. If you save first the um, document, let's go to the file save. And of course, the first document you have to call index. All right, I'm gonna click save, okay? And it's here on the right. Oh, by the way, um, if you're gonna start designing from the phone view, I recommend you to go to the view, okay? And here when you split, select split vertically. Okay, you can see it's much better to see the code here on the right and design on the left, like the phone, okay? And I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna do the same here. I'm gonna split, show vertically, okay? And it's easier to see the code on this way, okay? All right, uh, first step, I have to insert my page wrapper, which is this one. In that case, um, you can go here to the body. I'm gonna put my mouse there. I'm gonna hit enter, okay? And here I'm gonna insert a div, okay? There are two ways to do the div. You can type manually or you can go to the insert panel. If you prefer to work with the same, uh, with the insert panel, go ahead, okay? The only thing that you have to do here is select click, okay? Insert a div, and here I can put the class page hyphen wrapper, okay? And select, okay, double check at intersection point is selected, that is the option by default. Click there, and you have this insert page wrapper, and then you have to get rid of that that text, okay? That is one way to do it. I prefer to write the code manually, okay? Because now in Dreamweaver we have code hints and that is very easy to insert a code. But the thing is you will learn how to code and then you can resolve many different problems if you start coding manually. I'm gonna show you how you can do in both ways during this class, but um, I prefer to do this typing code, okay. I'm gonna put my mouse here. I'm gonna put um, right when the body finish, okay. Double check is on the right of these angle brackets and then hit return. And now you can type the word div, okay. And then hit the tab key, 
okay? And automatically you have a div there, okay? But inside the div, okay, I'm gonna put my mouse there on that position, you have to put inside the tag, okay, between the V and the anchor bracket, okay? Type and space and automatically you can insert a class, okay? Click there and then Dreamweaver is asking you, what is the name of that class? Okay, and here I'm gonna put page wrapper, okay? You have to repeat this process many times, okay? And at the end, you will understand, okay? It's going to be very easy to type code, okay? And that is more interesting if you know how to type code, okay? All right, then you have to put the mouse inside this div, inside this tag between the open and the closed tab, oh, tag, okay? And put the mouse there and then hit enter okay and you're gonna put the mouse between this one is going to be the the um, the beginning of the page wrapper and this is the end all right then i'm gonna do another enter okay and i'm gonna put here my cursor okay page wrapper start here and finish here if i show you the original document okay this is how the page wrapper start there and finish there Okay, what I have to do inside, I need the header. If you see the header start here and finish here, but you can see here is not a div, okay? I try to do not insert many divs. I prefer to use HTML element, okay? For example, here on the insert panel, I have header, navigation, main, aside, article, section, and footer. These are HTML elements that you can insert and you can add a class to those elements instead to insert one div, another div, and another div. And this one also is very good for search engine optimization. The famous SEO, okay, for Google is, is good to know what is the header, what is the navigation bar, uh, and, navigation bar and so on, okay? In that case, um, I'm gonna insert the header, all right? I'm gonna show you again, you can do this uh, with the panel, I can click here, click, okay? And the class for this header, okay? I can type this one, top header, okay? And select, okay. You see, automatically you have that. I recommend you to delete automatically, as soon as you do that, delete the content and hit return, okay? And then I'm gonna move this, okay? I like to indent here, Okay, to start with the header here and then another enter on this area. And um, you see this indent properly, okay? This element is, is the wrapper of the element that is inside, okay? And that is the way, but you know, I prefer to do this manually, okay? Instead to do this automatically uh, with the insert panel, okay? I'm gonna do it again. If you see, it's the top header, okay? The only thing that you have to do here is header, okay? then you can press tab and automatically you have the header start and finish, all right? And then you can press return, okay? And you have the header there. If you don't press return, also you can go back, space, okay? And then select class and then type a class here, top header, okay? And then go to the right with a, a keyboard. You can use the arrows on your keyboard and then type return, okay? But I'm gonna indent this much better, I'm gonna put there, all right? That is the idea, okay. What we have inside the header, okay? You see, I have another div that is my top banner, okay? Okay, which finish here, and then I have the nav, which is the navigation bar. First, uh, I'm gonna insert the top banner, okay? I'm gonna go here inside the header, hit return. I'm gonna put here div, tab, inside, I'm gonna, to that class, I wanna call top banner, okay? And then here, the only thing that you have to do is a return, okay? Um, I'm gonna do two returns, okay? Because I'm gonna put more content here inside. All right, I have my top banner, which is this one, and inside I have a logo, okay? Um, and inside the logo, the logo, the div logo ID I create, which is this one, okay? because it's a wrapper for this image and this text, okay? I prefer to create, I, I can put just the image and the text, but I prefer to create a wrapper because it's easier to control both elements, okay? And I put an ID because it's just one element that I'm gonna use just one time on my banner. I am not planning to repeat this. That, that's why I prefer to use 
an ID. In that case, I'm gonna put here div tab, okay? And here I'm gonna put the ID, all right? Okay, you hit enter and you can put here logo, all right? Which is the same thing that I have here, okay? That is my ID logo. And inside, I'm gonna insert the image, all right? Okay, but I'm gonna insert the image right now, okay? I'm gonna put the mouse there. And here you can select here, insert image. If you click there, automatically you can connect to the Hardy Davidson 2 folder, double click, okay? And here I have a logo that is that big and I have another one that is bigger, okay? If you see this one is bigger, but in this case, I'm gonna use the logo one, okay? Select open and now the logo is there. You, can, you can't see the other element, okay? Because you don't have other elements there. All right, that is the way that you can insert automatically with the, but automatically you will have the width and the height, but I don't need that. In that case, I prefer, instead to do that, I did command Z, I prefer to um, insert an image. I'm gonna type just the word IMG, okay? Tab, and automatically you have the IMG, the source, all right? And here I'm gonna type I, cause I know it's on the images folder. I'm gonna click there, okay, and here, I have the logo one. You can see? That's it. I is less code, okay? Just one thing that is very important for SEO is the alt, okay? And here you can put Harley Davidson logo or anything that you want. All right. I have that element, okay? Then here I'm gonna insert um, this text. I'm gonna take advantage to copy this text or you can copy from the Illustrator file. I mean, I can go here to Illustrator. I can go to this text. All right, do not copy from Illustrator as an element. You have to select the type tool, highlight, and then you can copy that text, okay? I'm gonna copy from here, all right? Then I'm gonna go here underneath the logo because this is the div for logo, okay? Let me put this, I'm gonna create more order. This one is inside the logo. I'm gonna put the tab here, okay? Another one here and here inside, okay, I have to put my H1, okay? And why H1 is very good to put there? Because it's the most principal element on my website, okay? And that is very good for SEO because it's a H1 and in addition, it's inside the top header, okay? Which is very good, okay, for SEO. You can see you have the top banner, the top header is there. Okay, what else we have here? I have the, um, the close div, I have the logo, okay? And then underneath the logo, I have the navigation bar, okay? All right, you see this is the nav bar, okay? Let's go there. Here I have inside the top header, we have to go, you can see you have the top banner, all right? And the navigation bar is inside the top header. You can put outside, but I decide to put inside. In that case, I have to put the mouse here, the cursor, Okay, whatever part the top banner finish, and then put the cursor there and hit return. Okay, and you are on the same level. Okay, here you can type nav and then tab. Okay, and then you have the nav bar. Uh, and I'm gonna hit enter and I'm gonna put a class to the navigation bar. Space bar, then select class. Okay, and here I'm gonna put nav hyphen bar, just to remember that. Okay. What else I would like to put here? Let me show you the, um, the original document. Inside, I have a UL, LI, and A. Why I have this? Because now is the standard, okay, to work with the UL, LI, and A for navigation bar, okay? You see, I have all the UL, LI, A there, okay? And it's much better to do that, okay? Because it's good for search engine, it's good for apply CSS, okay? It's a very good standard to work, okay, in, in HTML coding and CSS, okay? In that case, what you can do, the code is the following, okay? You can insert this um, with the UL, with the LI, okay, and the link, but I prefer to type the code and it's pretty easy. If you type UL, then angle bracket, okay, then LI, okay, and then I'm gonna put here, I will like those by five, because I need five time there, okay? And then 
I'm gonna tie the inger bracket and then A. And now if you hit tab, automatically you have the UL, you have the LI, and you have all the inker, okay? That is pretty cool. All right, if you see on the website, it looks just a few things, then we're gonna add this style, okay? And here the reference, all right? I need all those links, okay? And here inside, I need the text for that link, okay? For this example, this one is home, okay? Then I'm gonna hear this one is about, okay? Then I'm gonna take a look to my design is home about gallery media and contact, okay? I'm gonna put here gallery. Then I'm gonna put here media, okay? And contact. All right, uh, what about the link? Of course, my homepage is the index. As soon as I type the I, you can see index.html, okay? And you can see it's there. I don't have the link for the other one. Probably I'm gonna put this one about, okay, that HTML, okay? I don't have um, the um, that page yet, but probably I'm gonna name it like this, gallery.html also. Okay, here is media that it's a ML, okay. Oh, also if you don't have the link yet, okay, in addition you can type the pound, okay. But I know I'm gonna call this one contact that HTML. All right, look at that. I have all the elements. I have the logo, the, the title of my website and all the navigation bar, okay. Let's take a look what we have. Okay, here, if you see, I have the navigation bar, okay? And underneath the navigation bar, finish the header, okay? You can see the header start here and finish there, okay? And if I go back to my document, okay, I have the header here, all right? If I click on the word header and the header finish there, okay? If I click here, okay, what you can see, I have to type a return, okay? and I would like to put the main content, but I'm gonna put the main content right on the same line of the header, because it's that important. Okay, I can type main, okay, tab, all right, and here inside, I'm gonna do an enter first, okay? Sometimes I don't like how Dreamweaver indent this, okay? And here inside, I'm gonna put all my main content. For, for the main content, if you see, okay, on this side, I have main class, main, okay? But what is this space and this clear fix, okay? I'm gonna explain you soon, okay? I'm gonna type just the main, because this is a very good uh, way to design, it's a hack, okay? I'm gonna show you why you have to work with that, okay? But just for now, I'm gonna put here main, okay? Space, I'm gonna put a class, it's not taking, class, all right, and main. Perfect, I have my main content, and here inside, I'm gonna put more content. Let's go to the site, okay, I'm gonna take a look here. If you see, I have a section, okay, and the section start here and finish there. Okay. What is this section? Is the feature images, and also, again, I have this clear fix that is the same thing that I have here, and also here I have in this topic, then I'm gonna talk about that, okay? All right, let's continue talking. Section, start here, finish there. Okay, this is the feature images. All right, look at my Illustrator file. I have this section, okay, that is the feature images. I have to create all these elements. I have the feature images, and inside I have a div, a container. All right, I have the container for every single feature, and then a picture, a H2 title, and a paragraph. Okay, let's create all the stuff, okay, here. Let's start with the feature image. Okay, and here I have the main content and inside I'm gonna insert a section, okay? If you see, a section is an element, okay? It's an HTML element that you can insert as a part of your the order of your design. I'm gonna go again to Illustrator. If you see here, I have a section with the class feature images, okay? In that case, just type section tab, okay, and here I'm gonna put the class space, okay, select class here, okay, I'm gonna call this one feature hyphen images, okay, and between the open and the closed tags, okay, I'm gonna do one enter, I'm gonna indent much better this, and here inside the feature images, what I have to 
um, insert is the div, okay? This container, which is this one, is a container of two elements. Why I decide to create a wrapper for two pictures? Why? Because you can do this also, okay? But what if this text is bigger than this one and this one even bigger, okay? At the end, the order gonna look um, a little weird, okay? And you have to add a lot of code in order to figure it out that. And I prefer to resolve that with two containers, one container for these two guys and one container for these two guys. And uh, as soon as soon you um, stretch the, the browser, what's going to happen in this container will go like this. Okay. And then you can see all those elements. Okay. Like what happened here. You can see I have a wrapper container for these two guys. Okay. And that wrapper container is the, the div container feature. Okay. Let's create that. I'm going to show you how the code looks like. Okay. You see now we are inside the div Okay, container feature is this one. We are inside the section with the class feature images, okay, which is the container for all the feature images, and now is the wrapper of two, okay, div class container feature, okay. Let's go here and then inside, I'm gonna tap a tab, okay, I'm gonna div tab, okay, and here I'm gonna space, okay, class again, and I'm gonna type container feature. All right, let's continue here inside the div class container feature. Okay. Inside, I'm going to hit enter. Okay. Another enter. And here inside, I have to put more information. You see inside the container feature. Now I have to insert the, the feature, which is one of the elements. It's one wrapper for this picture, the title and the text. Okay which is this one, it's just one element, which is the wrapper of this element and that element, okay? This is the div feature, okay? All right, let's go to the code, and here I'm gonna put div, okay, tab again, okay? Inside space, you can see we're gonna repeat this very often, and at the end it's going to be very natural for you guys to write this code, okay? Okay, feature, and then inside, I'm gonna hit return twice, and inside, okay, I'm gonna hit tab to indent. All right, inside, I have to insert an image, okay? If I show you the code that I have here, okay? It's another div that is a picture, okay? And this is the picture, which is the first one, is the picture one. Okay, let me talk about this. You can create this circle, Okay, with a stroke here, you can create this in Photoshop or in Illustrator, and you can export that as a PNG, okay? But instead to do that, I decide to create this in Dreamweaver, okay? Actually, this is a rectangle, actually it's a perfect square with rounded corners with a stroke, and the image is the background. Okay, and if you're gonna change the image, okay, you can see I have four different images. In that case, I have to create one particular ID for every single image, okay? The code is, is simpler to, to work with this kind of code, okay? You create an ID, pick one, all right? And ID, pick two, ID, pick three, and the ID, pick four, okay? It's easier to work on this way. That's why I create that. It's inside the feature, okay? The ID, pick one. And I create a class, okay, for this div that I call feature IMG. Why I did that? And I did the same for this one, this one for four images. I did this because you can control the four images. You can add the rounder corners, okay, and the stroke, and see the size and everything for just one class. And then you will repeat for the four images. And then you can add just the picture, okay? I'm gonna show you that on my CSS, all right? Okay, let's go, let's insert this, okay? The first step here, I'm gonna type div, okay, tab, okay? Here inside, put the ID, because it's, this one is uh, ID first, okay? I'm gonna call this one pick one. All right, in addition, put the mouse uh, after the um, quote, let's type space, and I'm gonna add a class, all right? And I'm gonna call this one, feature IMG, 
that is the only thing that you have to do okay and if you see here inside that feature image okay there's nothing i finished the div there because it's nothing that you have to put if you are not i'm not trying to put text okay and they have i have a h2 and a paragraph okay let's do that put the mouse at the end okay hit enter type h2 tab and i'm gonna type here for example this is the title okay put at the end and then hit tab and i need a paragraph of course you can do p tab and then you can type a dummy text here inside but instead to do that type p anger bracket and the word lipsum okay and automatically you will insert dummy text now hit tab okay and automatically you have that text now look at this we have to do this four times i mean i need to insert here inside the feature okay i have this one and i have to repeat four times but look at what i'm planning to do first i'm gonna select on my dumb bar if you see this one is a feature okay which is here let me show you my illustrator i have one is the feature which is this element let me select the element to show you. That is the feature, okay? And I had to duplicate this twice inside the container feature, okay? In that case, you can go here to the DOM bar. I'm gonna close this, right click and select duplicate, okay? And now you see I have two feature. And then the container feature, okay? Which is the wrapper of two feature, right click and select duplicate again. Okay, and now if you see, I have all the code that I need for all these feature images, okay? Which is pretty cool, okay? You can type code pretty quick, okay? All right, let's take a look what we have here inside the main content. I have the section, which is the feature images. What I have next to the feature images, I'm gonna scroll down the feature images, start here and finish there, okay? You can see the section feature images what i have next okay i'm gonna show you here the feature images next to that i have a article okay if you see the article is inside i have the topic one image h3 and paragraph okay all right it's pretty simple okay i'm gonna insert an article with the class topic one okay all right let's go here i'm gonna put my mouse here at the end Okay, I'm gonna select here. Uh, we are inside the main content. Okay, at the same level of the feature images. I'm gonna put my mouse there. Okay, and here I'm gonna type article. Okay, you see article is one of the elements that you have as a HTML element. You see is there. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit tab. Okay, inside the article, I'm gonna, um, if you see here, Okay, let me show you the article, the class topic one. Okay, let's go back. All right, I'm gonna hit um, space. I'm gonna put a class. I'm gonna call topic hyphen one. Okay, and then here inside, I'll hit return. Okay, I'm gonna tap much better. And here inside, I'm gonna insert more element. One is a, um, image okay this id topic one image all right one is a h3 and then a paragraph okay let's go back in here inside i'm gonna hit tab to indent okay i'm gonna div okay tab here a uh, class okay topic one img okay and then after this i'm gonna type a h3 tab okay this is the title okay look at this i'm gonna go back just to show you the okay deep id topic class all right the the h3 and then the p all right let's go back i'm gonna put here return then p angle bracket lipson Okay, and then tab, and then you have the paragraph. If you see, I have to do the same. Let me show the final code here. I have to do the same for the, I have here for the article, article 
topic one image with that and then the, I have the article topic two okay with just very small change in that case what I like to do is this I'm gonna select the article topic one I'm gonna close this I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna duplicate okay and then for the article topic one I'm gonna change here all right and just select the word one and type two also here select the word one and type two you can see it's pretty simple to duplicate the content like that all right okay oh by the way the 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 topic two and the topic one i put this one as a id okay i'm gonna change that okay the topic one img let me show you again here if you see the topic one img okay is a id the topic one and the topic two img is an id in that case i'm gonna change that okay instead of the word class you can type just id is that simple and here instead of the word class just id okay and you can do that change all right everything is okay for my art second article the only thing that i don't like when you duplicate sometimes it's a little okay the indent is not that good you have to start doing this okay to double check everything indented very well okay i'm gonna put this one also one two three okay i have to eliminate a few things here all right i'll hit enter one okay that is much better all right i have all the main content here okay this is the page wrapper let me go to the main content and start here okay and finish there okay and then right underneath the main content i'm gonna hit return tab okay all right and if you see the original content the main finish there and then you have the footer okay the footer with the class footer is something pretty simple okay here just insert the word footer okay oops footer tab okay then inside i'm going to insert the class footer and then hit here a uh, return okay i'm gonna move this one like this and then inside i'm gonna put here i believe i have a h3 you see i have h3 right and a paragraph okay i'm gonna put here h3 tab okay this is the footer area okay tab and then do the same that we did with the p angle bracket lipsum and tab okay all right look at that we finish all the content of the website i know sometimes it's a little annoying okay because it's looks uh, too much code okay but if you follow all this instruction then uh you prepare different website if you uh, soon you create more than two or three websites then it's going to be very natural for you guys to code by hand okay and also you can use the insert panel but i prefer to call by hand because it's easier for you guys to learn how to code all right on the next video i'm going to show you how you can add design with css all right, I hope you like this video. See you on the next one. Bye.